Today I'm going to be showing you the wishbone, one of my favorite designs. I drew one and a half inches, um, like a pretend sashing here, so that I could fill it. And I love using this for sashing, for triangles, diamonds. Um, I don't have a stitch regulation on this, I'm just using my own feet and speed of the machine. And um, let me just show you this. So what you want to do is you want to make a small little loop and then come back up, do another small little loop, angle down, do a small little loop and come back up. You can space them accordingly. You can have them really close together. You can space them out. So here it goes. So I'm just going down, loop, up, loop, go ahead a little bit. You can modify your loops the way you like them to be. You can take them in a little bit closer. I'm getting ready to run out. I'm done when I ran out. Yep, I did. So you can do a little bit closer together. You can do them further. So let me just show you what I've done so far with them. So you can see some of them are spaced out close and farther, some are closer. Um, just something I really enjoy doing when I free motion. Uh, it takes a little bit of practice. So Grab a scrap and I would love to see how you guys are doing. Have a great day.